kids are known to do that. Hello class, Mr. C here for Wook Plus, and it's time for another one minute history. This episode will be about 6-12-2019, the Stanley Cup Gloria Show. This was the second night of a two-night run to open the summer tour of 2019. The 10-time fish played in St. Louis in the first of this arena since 2012. On the same night, but located some 1,200 miles away at TD Garden in Boston, was Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals. Before we get into the happenings of this once-in-a-lifetime night, a little backstory. The St. Louis Blues were one of six franchises founded during the NHL expansion in 1967. The team gets its name from the legendary blues musician W.C. Handy's song, St. Louis Blues. The song has been called the Jazzman's Hamlet. During the team's 52-year existence, they had never won the Stanley Cup and hadn't been to the Cup Final in 49 years. All this began to change on January 6, 2019, in a little bar in Philadelphia called Jack's NYB. As the story goes, members of the Blues were at the bar during an Eagles game on that Sunday. The DJ in the bar would play songs during the commercial breaks. One of the songs played was the 1982 song Gloria by Lloyd Brannigan. Someone in the bar told the DJ to just keep playing Gloria, and he did. The next night, the Blues played the Flyers and won the game 3-0. They played Gloria as their victory song in the locker room after the win, and after every win the rest of the season. They ended up in second place in their division and punched their ticket to the playoffs. Gloria became more than a song. It became an anthem for a city starved for the Cup. The St. Louis Blues beat the odds and made it to Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals. The date of this most important game again would fall on 6-12-19. The hockey game started around 7 p.m. local time and fish took the stage at 8-10 p.m. local time. Chalk Dust opened the show and the band played a relatively balanced and solid first set, about what you would expect from the third set of the tour. While the Blues held a 2-0 lead for most of the game, it was during the set closing run like an antelope that things began to shift. With eight and a half minutes left in the third period, the Blues scored a goal to go up 3-0. The crowd let loose a cheer that carried through the arena as it seemed the Blues' victory was inevitable. Trey spots a fan wearing a Blues jersey that said Anastasio on the back. At the very end of Antelope, the band teases Lloyd Brannigan's Gloria. The Blues won the cup during the set break as fans packed the concourses, making for one of the most exciting and energetic set breaks ever. The band, sensing the atmosphere in the arena, decided to give the city what it deserved, their first ever version of Gloria, made complete by CK5 drenching the crowd in lights of blue and gold the team colors of the newest Stanley Cup champions. Keeping the cup theme going, next up was Loving Cup, worthy of championship status. This version has its highs and highs. Eventually becoming the longest Loving Cup in the song's 26 year history. The rest of the second set would be raucous as well with the fish debut of About to Run and a rare Mr. Completely. The moment was a convergence of two forces, a city basking in the championship glow, a band feeding off the euphoria of the room, creating a soundtrack perfect for the night. This wasn't just any old night in St. Louis. This was Fish Tree. That's another Wook Plus One Minute Fish Tree. Class is missing. Oh, yeah.